everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room um, a Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you all have a good time today, too, and like our stories and help me sing some songs. I hope the caregivers are there to give us support, and I do always have a message for them, too. So we learn together, everyone. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <coughs> I see the sun shining. Do you see the sun shining? It's out today here in Rye, New York. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. These little children want to play with you, are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Let's sing that again, see if I can do it right, okay? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Okie doke, are you ready? Let's sing our next song, shall we? Ah, uh, you remember who this was? We had him last week. He is a black sheep, and sheep grows hair just like we do, though it's very thick and warm, and they need a shave every so often. So they have they give us wool to make our our blankets and our nice warm mittens, right? Sure. And I see three bags here. You see three bags? I do. <clears throat> oh. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little boys that live down the lane. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Now, the little girls want a warm blanket too, I bet, right? Sure they do. Oh, Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. One for the little girls that live down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Good for you. Good for you. you know, they, they are very woolly and they have lots of great warm fleece. Here we go. Well, Wizzy Wizard, do you have a tip for us today? Oh, I sure do. It's an important one. The ability to repeat or retell a story that the children have heard is one of the most important skills that they need to understand what they read. So mommies and daddies have props around the house to help your child retell a story that they had, might have heard. And as they get older, of course. But um, just, just very simple, simple one, two, three word stories for very small children. Our first book today is Rain. Can you make the sound of rain on your lap? Patter, 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 patter. Right, sure. Rain by Robert Kalin. And I like this book because all the little raindrops are the spelling of rain. Hardly, I guess you can't see that. And all the, all the words there, they're all those raindrops, it says rain, 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 rain. So I love it. It's fun to, to get this book out of the library and read it with your children. Especially young, very young ones because it's very simple. Oh. Blue sky. Yep. 
yellow sun, white clouds, uh oh, gray clouds, gray sky. Let's see if we can get a gray sky here. Ooh, how's that? Gray sky. Oh, rain. Rain. So here, 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 here let's, let, let's, let's listen to the pity pet. Pity pet, pity pet, pity pet, pity pet. Can you make it? I mean, here. Oh, rain on the green grass. There's my green grass. Rain on the black road. That road is black. Rain on the red car. You see the little red car down there, huh? Ah, uh, rain on the orange flowers. Where are my orange flowers? There they are. Do I hear the rain? Rain on the brown fence. Do I have a brown fence here? Let's see. I think I do, right over there. You see it? <clears throat> Rain on the purple flowers. Purple? Well, we, we were talking about these colors, weren't we, last week? Purple flowers. Right. Oh, rain on the white house. And oh, you can hear it on the roof. Yeah, that was. Rain on the green trees. You see some trees. Hmm? I see there's one here, and here are some more. Rain! Oh, come on, let's make rain. Ooh. Oh, so noisy. Look at that. Have to be careful of our books, though. What happened after the rain is through, and it's still raining somewhere else? Oh. Huh? I think there's a, what? Rainbow, right? Rainbow. And we know what a rainbow is, right? Rain by Robert Kalin. Well, let's see if we can get some of this down here. There we go. And we'll get that rain back because there's a, a few little creatures that love the rain. And one of them is the robin. Oh, let's see. That doesn't quite work, does it? Here we go. There we go. There. Can you see him? Can you see the worm? There we go. Robin in the rain. What a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain. Mind your socks of yellow, and running in the garden on your nimble feet, digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Robin in the rain doesn't mind the weather. Our showers always make you gay. But the worms are wishing that you would stay at home. Robin on a rainy day. Robin on a rainy day. Can you sing that with me? Or try? Come on, maybe you can clap. Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Running in the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay. But the worms are wishing that you would stay at home. Robin on a rainy day. Robin on a rainy day. Well, what does the robin know? He knows that that worm loves the rain too. And he comes up out of the ground and tries to drink some water. And that's when he hears him and goes Burp! and digs right into the dirt and gets him. Oh, he's a smart little bird. Poor little worm, but that's that's the way it is. Now let's 
let's see. Got this kind of come wobbly here. Well, I've lost my house and I lost my. Uh, I didn't realize I had pulled everything down here, didn't I? But let's get the road back. I need a crooked road and I need a crooked house. And I need a crooked fence. Oh my goodness. What a mess. There we go. Well, now I wonder what rhyme that is. How many of you know this one? I bet you do if you've been in Mother Goose or, or Tales for Tots down at the library. There was a crooked man. Here he is. Who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. Those are the steps that go over the fence. He bought a crooked cat that caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in the little crooked house. <clears throat> so here we go. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat the crop caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in the little crooked house. Well, I have another book about the rain. It's called A Rain Song. It's a big, it's a poem. It is. And it's by Leslie Evans. And here it is a summer day and the children are playing in their pool. Distant rumbling. <gasps> Stomach rumblings. Quiet moaning. Far off groaning. Uh-oh, what's coming? Breeze is stirring, leaves are swirling. Oh. oh, a hot summer afternoon, and you know sometimes that happens. Sun is fading, where'd it go? Dark clouds waiting, trees are sighing, birds are lying low in nests in wind, weight of rain. There they are. Oh, we're getting, better get home fast, yeah. Falls a raindrop, it goes plop plop, coming faster, drip drop, drip drop, pitter pat, pitter pat, scooter's pat. Oh. Hurry up. Uh-oh, get the cat out of the tree. Drops are falling, mommy's calling. Oh, faster, run, dear. Faster, come, dear. Safe inside, we'll watch the rain. I got my key. Thunder sounding, drops now pounding. Wind is wailing, leaves are flailing. Oh my, such a lot of noise out there. Lightning's flashing, trees are thrashing, cymbals clashing. Sounds like a, instruments banging away, right? Like a drum, big boom bashing, boom, 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 boom. Look at the lightning streaking before the booms. Snare drum playing, beat it saying, keep the rhythm of the rain. So they pretend that they're in a band with it and having fun with it <laughs> instead of being afraid of the noise. Music slowing, silence growing, thunder ceasing, rain decreasing. Wind is tiring, beat expiring, distant rumbling, off rumbling. Streams of light fall. Birds in flight call, oh, come and play out in the rain. Ah, the thunder's gone. Storm is almost over. Safe now. Yellow slickers zip it quicker. Red galoshes, squishy squashes. Oh, play in the mud puddles. Oh, that's so much fun. Feet are romping. Oh. Boots are stomping. I don't know if anyone has a mud puddle around here. Huh? We used to have mud puddles all over. Puddle kicking, raindrop licking. Oh, look at that. 
the puppy too. He's licking the raindrops. Yeah. Sunshine coming. Gutters running. Oh, look at all that water coming off the roof. Whoosh. There's a lot of it. <clears throat> In the distance falls the rain. Far off sighing, singing its refrain. There it is. Rain's all gone where we are, but it's over there and somewhere else. How we love the song of rain. And it does cool things down sometimes, which is kind of nice when it's a very hot day. <clears throat> well, let's see what we have up here. We have the rain. You can take that away, I think. <clears throat> I think up here I have a mountain. What do you think? think this is a mountain? I think it is. Whoops. Oh, look at that big mountain. Mountain. A mountain is a very, very high hill. It sure is. It's way out, way out in the wilds, those mountains. And who lives out there? Oh, lots of animals. They sure do. One is a big bear. Oh, the bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see, to see what he could see to see what he could see. And what did he see? Ah, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. So what did he do? He tiptoed. He tiptoed to another mountain. He tiptoed to another mountain. Can you tiptoe? Come on. He tiptoed to another mountain to see what he could see. See what he could see. See what he could see. And what do you see? The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. So what did he do? He, he skipped. Can you skip? That's pretty hard. How about jump? Can you jump? Try it. So he jumped to another mountain, he jumped to another mountain, he jumped to another mountain to see what he could see. To see what he could see, to see what he could see. And what did he see? The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. So we could keep, keep doing that, but we don't have time to do all that. But you could do all sorts of things with that song. Maybe your nannies and your, your mommies and daddies can help you. Hmm? Your babysitters, huh? <clears throat> Well, I have a little red hen. I like my little red hen. I have a little red hen, the prettiest you'd ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She always goes to the miller to buy me some flour and is always home within the hour. She bakes me my bread and brews me my ale and sits by my fire and tells a fine tale. Yes. And I love stories, don't you? Hmm? Fairy tales, all sorts of tales, folk tales. I have a little red hen, the prettiest you've ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She goes to the miller to buy me some flour and is always home within the hour. She bakes me my bread, she brews me my ale and sits by my fire and tells a fine tale. Now, once upon a time, I love those stories, once upon a time. Well, there's a very simple one, once upon a time. First, the egg. And this story is by Laura Baccaro Seeger. First, the egg. And it won quite a few awards. And it has little holes in the picture to see what's going coming next. So that's kind of fun, too, when you're looking at it. Uh, with your children. First, the egg. Oh. Oh. Then, what happened? The chicken. Right, the little baby chick came on the egg. The chicken. 
first, the tadpole. Yeah, the little tadpole. Looks like a little teeny fish. But it's not a fish, because as it grows, what is it? Ah. Then, a frog. See, the tadpole started to grow legs. His tail gets shorter. He grows little arms, and pretty soon he's a frog. Yeah. Very, very clever. First, the seed. You see that little teeny brown thing there? That's a seed. Some seeds are so small, they're hardly able to hardly pick them up. Uh, what's happened to that seed? Oh, it sprouted. It sure did. Then the flower. Sure, you have to wait a while, right? For things to develop. First, the caterpillar. Well, we all know what happens to him, right? Sure we do. Then, what? It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and grows a little crystallis around himself. And then he's a butterfly. Ooh. First, the word. Look at all those words. Then what? Ah. Then, the story. Once upon a time, <clears throat> there was an egg and a chicken and a tadpole and a frog and a seed and a flower and a caterpillar and a butterfly and first there was paint. Then a picture. And this is the artist's palette with all the colors. Ah. First the chicken. Ha ha. Oh, for second. Then the egg. Oh my goodness. Let's do that one again because you can see that it um see the chicken has, has a cutout. So there, there's a picture of the chicken. And then when we turn the page, there's the egg. Look at that. It came full circle, we call that. Full circle. A circle of life. Oh, my little doggy's run away. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Do you see him anywhere? He's so cute, but he's so little. I hope he doesn't get lost. Hey, you. Hey, you. Are you hiding from me? Well, Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. We're going to stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to. Two, two, two. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See all the monkeys scritch, scritch, scratching, jumping all around and scritch, scritch, scratching, hanging by the long tail, scritch, scritch, scratching. We're going to stay all day. See the little elephant with his long trunk swing and big ears flapping and his long trunk swing. Oh, scooping up the peanuts with his long trunk trunk swinging. We're going to stay all day. Oh, Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. We're going to stay all day. See the brown bear, he's a huff, huff, a puffin. Coat's too warm, he's a huff, huff, a puffin. Ah, better stay away from the huff, huff, a puffin. 
Oh, we won't stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. Well, we're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See the kangaroo, she's a hop, hop, hopping. Big flare tails, flop, flop, flopping. Little Joey in the pouch is a bob, bob, bobbing. We're going to stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. So bye-bye. Bye-bye to Big Brown Bear. And bye-bye to Kangaroo, too. And bye-bye to Baba the Elephant. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to my little red hen. And bye-bye to the robin in the rain. Here he is. Here he is. And bye-bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you. What do you say there, Mr. Robin? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.